Online TVE en un curso de inglés premium para ti. Un año de clases por menos de un euro al día. Con tutor online, en cualquier dispositivo, con certificado Baugan y ya sabes dónde y cuando tú quieras. Curso de inglés online tve.com o infórmate en el 911335842. Aquí comienza Inglés Online TV. Hello everybody, hi, welcome. Welcome to the program Inglés Online. TV e English Online. Why don't we call it that? If you're listening to me, you should know Inglés. In Inglés se dice English. Claro. Inglés en Inglés. ¿Cómo se dice Inglés en Inglés? English. Yeah, English Online. But yeah, the channel is Inglés Online TV e. Televisión Española. T -V -E. And this is the channel on YouTube. Are we, are we live? Are we live, Tino? Are we live on YouTube? Because I'm not seeing it yet. But oh, here we are. Aquí estamos, everybody. We're live. And uh, oh my gosh, we already have a bunch of people waiting. You can, why don't you say hello? We have hello for Saul. Saul says hello from Seville and Biclu. Yeah, Biclu. This is a new one. Hi, Biclu. From Brazil. Writing in from Brazil. Tino, do we have a Brazilian jingle? We really should have una ráfaga for every country, shouldn't we? A little Brazilian, hmm, algo, no? A little something. Anyway, thanks for connecting. Thank you to all the people connecting today for class number 28 of our course, Inglés Online TVE. Now, if you're, if you're watching in Brazil and you say, I don't get Channel 2, Televisión Española, es que no llega. Right? Uh, it, it, it doesn't reach, um, it doesn't reach, or we have... Uh, Re Ricacha. Hey, Ricacha. He says, hi from Veracruz, Mexico. All over the world, connecting it. There we go. There we go. Now, if you don't have Channel 2 where you live, you can find it all online. Y no cuesta nada. It's gratis. It's gratis. Inglés Online TV. That's it. English Online TV. Inglés Online TV. Connect to the YouTube channel. Watch it. Enjoy the content. Enjoy the show. And uh, and then you you might say at home you say, pero quiero más, right? At home you're saying, I love it, Kyle, me encanta, pero quiero más, aún más, and that's where you go to curso de inglés online TV. I had to look at the the board. Curso de inglés. I don't. I'm part of the micros. Ahí no veo bien. Curso de inglés online TV dot com. Curso de Inglés Online, TVE.com, and you get all the content. You get all of it, everybody. You get class, you get extra classes. There are teachers there ready to help you. You have the access of uh, with a Vaughn teacher. He's going to review. You can ask questions. It's very good. It's a very complete course, and I do recommend it. But you get a lot for free as well. If you can't watch the shows on TV, 7.30 in the morning, hey, Connect here on YouTube. And you can watch all the shows on demand. A tu ritmo. Right? Whenever you want. And then you can have the review with me live and also on demand on YouTube. We're, we're quite generous here, aren't we, Tino? We're quite generous. We give. We, we live to give here at Vaughn Radio. Anyway, why don't we go ahead and begin with today's intermediate content. Be Nivel básico. I was trying to trick Tino there. I said intermediate. No, no, claro, nivel básico. Yeah, we have to start with the basic content, right? Without the foundation, you can't build the tower. Okay, the first sentence is as follows. They're wrong and we're right. Yes, no. They're wrong. And we're right. So yesterday we saw this structure, to be wrong. Wrong. Now it has a W, but the W is silent. R wrong. They're wrong. 
Están equivocados, equivocados. Y tenemos razón. Right? We're right. They're wrong. And we're right. They're, they're wrong. Ooh. They are becomes contracted to their. They're wrong. They're wrong. My mouth stays open the whole time. They're wrong. And we're right. So the R onto the R. This is a way of linking the R sound of wrong. Links onto the there. They're wrong. They're wrong. We're right. They're wrong and we're right. Okay. So Tino and I got into an argument. Not not Tino and, and I. Tino and I were on the same thing. We worked we got into an argument with some other people. It was Fitz and Richard Brown. And Tino and I were saying, look, we were saying hamburgers are way more delicious than pizza. That's what we said. Don't you agree, Tino? Yeah, so so Tino and I, we agree that that hamburgers are much more delicious than pizza. And we said to Richard and Fitz, we said, come on, guys. Look, hamburgers are, look at the amount of gourmet hamburger restaurants in Madrid and in Valencia and in Barcelona. It's because they're very fashionable and they're more delicious. And, uh, but Fitz said, you know what? I heard Fitz say to Richard, he said, they're wrong. Pizza's more delicious. Richard agreed. Anything, you know? Yeah, and then and then and then Richard said, "Yeah, they're wrong and we're right." And then Tino said, "No, no, Kyle and I are right. Hamburgers are much more delicious." And Saul says in Seville as well. And Tino and Tino said, "No, no, Kyle and I are right. They're wrong. Están equivocados ellos. They're wrong and we're right." <laughs> So it depends. I don't know. What's your opinion? What do you think, Tino? Really, in, in, would you rather have a hamburger or a slice of pizza? A hamburger, right? A hamburger. Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay. <laughs> yes. All right. They're right. Están equivocados. And we're, uh, they're wrong and we're right. Y tenemos razón. Please, we never, never, nunca se dice we have reason. No, we're right. Oh, no. Mm. Yeah, so Bilku writes in and says, pizza are miles more delicious than hamburgers. Well, pizza is much, miles more delicious, much more delicious than hamburgers. I mean, I think you're, so the, the problem is, if someone agrees with Vilku, then Tino and I were going to say, I'm sorry, Vilku, but you're wrong and we're right. Or maybe he's wrong and we're right. I don't know. It depends on the hamburger. It depends on the pizza. No, I love both. I love pizza. Those are two of my favorite foods, actually. Pizza and hamburgers. I have to admit. I've been to so many restaurants. I've been to restaurants all around the world. I've been to about 40 countries. And I've tasted some great food. But it's tough to beat a good hamburger. It is, isn't it, Tino? A good hamburger... Is tough to beat. Am I right or am I wrong? Okay, okay bueno. bueno. Yeah, I think I think I think I'm right. If people See? if people says a hamburger is no good, then I think they're wrong. Okay. Richala says you're wrong. Hamburgers are too much more delicious. Are, are much more delicious. Okay. Uh -huh. In special especially in Burger King. Well. There are better burgers, though, I think. Tino and I went down to do investigation. Remember that time we went to do investigation at Five Guys Burgers? We had the the uh, manager come to the show. And then he invited us to some burgers, and they were good. Now, Saul says gazpacho is better. Tino, we've never had more life on the stream than we do today because we're talking about pizza and hamburgers. Then the Senor. and the chat is exploding. It's tough. I'm going to tell you something here. I'm going to tell you something very. I'm serious about this. 
A good hamburger is tough to beat if it's well prepared. In fact, I, I, I was thinking about making a hamburger blog. What do you think, Tino? Un blog sobre hamburguesas called El Hamburguiri. <laughs> right? I got, wouldn't that be great? El Hamburguiri. Yeah, and we could do hamburger reviews. I don't know. Anyway, Saul says gazpacho is better. Yeah, and Vic, uh, Viclu says, I love both too. Yeah, it's true. We have to agree to disagree, people. We'll agree to disagree. Francisco says, hi, Kyle. You, you prefer paella as Wayne. Eso, Eso es. es. That's true. You know, on the TV show as Wayne. That's right. Wayne prefers paella because he's practically Spanish. Anyway, uh, okay. So the sentence today, they're wrong and we're right. And it has exploded into a big debate about hamburgers and pizza in one of the most lively, interactive debates on this channel. And Belen says, I highly recommend this course. I did intermediate and advanced level. My level of English improved significantly. And the best thing you can do, you, the best thing, you can do it from the comfort of your home. I agree, Belen. You can do it from the comfort of your home. Fantastic. Okay, everybody, why don't we go ahead with today's intermediate content. Nivel Intermedio. Nivel Intermedio. Right? Nivel Intermedio. And it's the intermediate content. Okay, what's wrong? Tino, what's wrong? ¿Qué te pasa? What's wrong? You say that, right? ¿Qué te pasa, right? What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm fed up of arguing. Estoy harto. I'm fed up of arguing all the time. They discutir. To argue. Argue, gu, gu, argue. Yeah. I'm fed up of arguing all the time. Now, first of all, Francisco says, don't forget the basic. But that was the basic, actually, Francisco. I apologize. I said intermediate, but it was that was the basic content. Now we're into intermediate. What's wrong? ¿Qué te pasa? What's wrong? So in the first one, we had they're wrong and we're right. In that sense, wrong means equivocado. But in the second, in intermediate, what we're seeing in this sentence, what's wrong? ¿Qué te pasa? Oh, what's the problem? What's wrong? Are you okay? ¿Estás bien? What's wrong? I'm fed up. Estoy harto. I'm fed up of arguing all the time. We have a lot in this sentence. We have an interesting sentence here. I'm fed up. I'm, we could all, estoy harto, but we could also say I'm fed up. We could say I'm sick and tired of. I'm sick and tired of people complaining. I'm sick and tired of people arguing. Y eso es lo que no me gusta. Claro, que no me gusta. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick and tired. I'm, <laughs> I'm sick and tired. I'm fed up of arguing. Fed up with or fed up of arguing all the time. Todo el rato. Todo el tiempo. Right? Okay. I'm fed up of arguing all the time. Okay. What's wrong? I'm fed up. Estoy harto. And then to argue, to argue is, is discutir, no? Acaloradamente. Do you say that? Acaloradamente, no? When, because discutir can also be to discuss. We're discussing radio ideas. We weren't arguing about them. Arguing is when we disagree. No, yes. Like earlier on, we, people are arguing on our chat here about hamburgers and pizza. What's better? And Dudanel says, Kyle, what's the matter with you? He says, I think hamburgers are junk food. Well, yeah, but they're tasty, right? They're tasty. I have to admit it. Yeah, I mean, not, I wouldn't want to eat a hamburger every day. But anyway, what's wrong? I'm fed up of arguing all the time. Arguing, arguing all the time. Estoy harto. I'm fed up with arguing all the time. Okay. Now, advanced, everybody. Why don't we go ahead with today's advanced content? 
Nivel avanzado. Ok. You mustn't eat so many chocolates. You'll be sick. Tino, I've, no, I've been watching you lately. I've noticed he's eating. Es que Tino está siempre comiendo chocolate. Por la tarde. All, he's all after. He's eating chocolate. Actually, chocolates, right? He's sitting there all day eating chocolates. <laughs> I say, Tino, come on. You, no, no deberías. Well, you shouldn't. But, but in fact, you mustn't is even stronger. It's like it's saying you must not because you're going to get sick if you keep eating so many chocolates. <laughs> La merienda, sí, señor. <laughs> yeah. Well, we could say so much chocolate as well. We could say so much chocolate, but so many chocolates. When we say when we say chocolate as a as in countable, we have, you know, the in the box, you know, the little individual chocolates like on Valentine's Day. It happens to be Valentine's today, but I I only had one chocolate today. Someone gave me a chocolate said, Kyle, do you want a chocolate? I said, yeah, sure. But I haven't been eating a lot of chocolates. You mustn't eat so many chocolates. That, that, this is a problem that I had over Christmas. As I say, over Christmas, on that period. I'm when I say over Christmas, I mean from December 20th until you know January 2nd, 1st or 2nd. That whole period, 10, like two weeks really. All that whole period, over Christmas, that period of time, I ate too many chocolates. I did. I was getting fat. I was getting fat because I ate too many chocolates. So I go to the doctor and I say, I don't feel well. He said, well, you mustn't eat. Not just shouldn't. No deberías. No, pero más fuerte. You mustn't eat so many chocolates. You'll be sick, right? Te pondrás enfermo, no? You'll, you'll, be, you'll get sick, you'll be sick. Now, a lot of people at home are saying, what about ill? Yeah, you could say ill as well. The reality is sick is very often, uh, sick is very often used, well, casually. I remember in school, the teacher saying, you should use the word ill, I feel ill today. But 90% of people casually said, oh, I'm sick. I can't come to work. I'm sick today. I feel ill. Enfermo. So ill, sick, you could say either one. Sick, sick is a bit more casual. Ill is a bit more formal. Okay? But um, this is an interesting... I don't personally, I don't use um, mustn't. Very often, I would say, I would say, you really shouldn't. No deberías, you shouldn't. But mustn't is much stronger. Mustn't is uh, like what your doctor, the doctor would say. The doctor would say, look, you mustn't smoke anymore. Because uh, if you keep smoking, you're going to get, you're going to have serious problems. You're going to have health problems. So yeah, you mustn't, you mustn't smoke anymore. You mustn't eat so many chocolates. Countable. Right? Tantas chocolates. Si no, otherwise you'll be sick. Right? We also have the, the expression, you had better. Mas vale que. Mas vale que no. Right? You'd better not. You'd better, you'd better not. You'd better not eat so many chocolates. And this is often followed by otherwise, porque si no... You'd better not eat so many chocolates because otherwise you could get sick. Because otherwise you could gain weight. You'd better not. You'd better wear your seatbelt when you drive because otherwise you could be hurt in an accident. The trick here, el truco aquí, when we say you had better, or the negative, had better not, we never put the word to. Nunca se dice you had better to go. No, no. You'd better go. You'd better fix it. You'd better try it. You'd better call him. You'd better not wait too much longer. You'd better not eat so many chocolates. You'd better not drink coffee so late in the day. Because otherwise, you'll be up all night. 
Okay, mas vale que. But here we see the expression, you mustn't. So the doctor's being very strong, right? The doctor's, look, Kyle, you've been eating chocolate all day. You mustn't eat so many chocolates. You could say so much chocolate, chocolate uncountable. It's like ice cubes, yellows, cubitos de hielo. Ice itself is uncountable, right? Put some ice in my drink. I put some ice in my drink. I put two ice cubes. How much ice do you want? Ah, give me two cubes, dos cubitos. There you can count the cubes. It's kind of like this with chocolate, some chocolate. Uh, you mustn't eat so much chocolate or you mustn't eat so many chocolates. So we say chocolates, we're, we're sort of give, giving this idea in our head of, of uh, you know, a little individual chocolate for, in a box, right? You'll be sick. You'll get sick or you'll be sick. Mm. So that's what I came in. I saw Tino. He was eating chocolates all afternoon. I said, Tino, come on. You mustn't, you mustn't eat so many chocolates. You'll be sick. Yeah. If you don't stop, you'll be sick. All right. Let's see what people are saying. We have a lot of people writing in. Oh, we have all kinds of action on the stream today, Tino. How do you spell feed up? I'm not sure what he means. Uh, don't forget the basic. Yeah, that's right. Well, we talked about the basic section at the start, Francisco, but thank you for that. You're right. And uh, how do you spell feed? Uh, oh, fed up. To be fed up with. Arto de. Claro. F-E-D. F-E-D. Second word. Up. U-P. Up. Fed up. Estoy harto de eso. I'm fed up with this. Right, I'm fed up, F-E-D. I'm fed up. And you can see this in the video, the intermediate video here for class number 28. You can see it on the channel and you can get, you can see it written as well there. Uh, um, Ricacha. Dudanel is there. He says, what's the matter with you? Oh, I think he was talking about my love of hamburgers. Hi, Kyle. Good evening. Thank you for your teaching. It says Maria. Maria Pilar. Thank you, Maria Pilar. Thank you for watching. Belen's back and she says, Kyle, what about fiddleheads? Ah, yes. Oh, we're getting into some Canadian food here. Do you like this disc or do you prefer poutine? I'm not sure what she means, disc. El disco? But yeah, fiddleheads. Okay, a fiddle is another word for a violin. When you play, uh, when you play like Celtic music, you know that Celtic music, Tino, where they play that it's like a violin, but it's not classical. When you play it like this, it's called a fiddle. And the top of it is the head. And the head, like the, like the head of the guitar. Right? I have a guitar here. Watch this. For those of you at home, I have a guitar in my, watching on YouTube, I have the guitar in my hand, and this is the head, the head of the guitar. So if you have a fiddle, it's like a violin, violin, no? we have the, the, the fiddle head would be the top of it, but a fiddle head is also a vegetable that grows in Atlantic Canada and in the Northeastern United States as well. I don't know where else it grows, but, it grow, but it's green, and we call them fiddleheads because it looks like the top of a fiddle, but it's a vegetable. You boil it, and it's quite delicious. So Benin says, what, a, what about fiddleheads? Do you like them? Yeah, I, and I do like them. Or do you prefer poutine? Poutine is another Canadian uh, delicacy, I will say. In fact, I made a video about poutine. You can find it on YouTube. Kyle put, put in uh, uh, On the Road with Kyle in Montreal, and you'll see a video of me talking about poutine and eating it. It's basically French fries with gravy, like a, a meat sauce and cheese. Typical in French Canada. Anyway, what about you like, maybe you like pea meal bacon? Mmm, delicious, these dishes. Yes, Belen. So it sounds like she's been to Canada. Nice one, Belen. Cool. Uh, Saul says, I like, I like all day chocolate. Or I like chocolate all day. Okay. Uh, Ricacha says, you must make an effort with your English learning. That's true. Francisco says, Kyle, I had a classmate a long time ago who was able to do the same like you with a pen in his hand. 
spinning a ballpoint pen in the thumb. To be honest, I was never able to do it. Okay, I do that without thinking. I don't know. I, I do that without thinking. Francisco. Dude Donnell says, what's the difference between must and have? Ooh, I'm going to have to get to that another day. The music is telling me I have to finish. I meant the dish in my, oh, not disc, a dish in my previous remark. Jaime says, wow, what a crowd in the chat today. Absolutely. All right, everybody. We're just a bit at a time. Thanks for, don't cry. You'd better not pout. Santa Claus is coming to town. F- a famous Christmas carol. Absolutely. Thank you, Belen. Thanks for everyone for writing in. Lots of interaction today. Thanks for watching. And we'll be back again tomorrow with more. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. Fantastico. En tres meses puedes hacer muchas cosas. Puedes ponerte cachas en el gimnasio. Hola, guapa. Y te has pasado un poco, ¿no? O también.